Hi, my name's Dr. Ross Cutts, and you're watching my video of uh, BLX Strauman dental implant crown being fitted. Um, BLX is the, the newest implant from the Strauman Implant Company, and it's very good for immediate situations, and it's got a very nice prosthetic connection. Here we've got printed models from a digital scan. It's a three-shape scan, and it provides a very accurate uh, representation of the implant in the mouth and now we're seeing the healing abutment being cleaned and we just unscrew the healing abutment and speed it up and then sometimes you just need a pair of tweezers so it's quite a deep implant relative to the adjacent tooth but not relative to the adjacent implant where it's previously placed uh, see just provisionally trying in the implant crown and we can see that the soft tissues uh, need to be adjusted and they're a little bit bulky in relation to the emergence profile of the crown. So it's a fully customised screw retained implant crown so a little bit of local anaesthesia and then a five millimetre soft tissue punch used initially to just widen the coronal soft tissues. Just wiggle it and then you just Trim it away ever so slightly. Very straightforward. Takes you know less than a minute to adjust that. And we just trim it away, and then that's superficially. And then I just use a four millimeter soft tissue punch just to to engage a bit further down, and just to widen the emergence profile. And we can see that we've got a, a shape, and our implant crown will form a very nice little plug into that to allow the soft tissues to just regenerate. So this is a bit like doing our implant exposure procedure at the same time as fitting our nicely shaped screw retained implant crown. So that with the, with the uh, screw retention of this crown, it, the benefit is that there's no cement um, from cementing a crown ever going to go underneath the gum. And so once the screws tr uh, screw retained crown is tried in, we just check the contacts are nice and easy with floss that we can get floss through for the patient to maintain optimal cleaning. We then just do the first initial tightening of the crown in place and then we check the bite and you can see that the, we check the bite both sides to check for, for accuracy and then we will use a little bite checking paper called shim stock and shim stock for an implant against a natural tooth has to be able to pull free and we can see that with the same bite pressure on the other side, it doesn't. And then we do the final tightening to 35 newtons. Just give the crown a little clean. And then we just pop a couple of cotton wool rolls in the ax cotton wool roll pledget, sorry, in the access cavity. And then we just fill that up with a little bit of white filling material just to disguise the hole, similar to the tooth behind, as you can see shape it nicely and then we light cure that and we just set it and that's our crown in situ looking very good again we know that the, the contacts we can floss and then we just check the bite again we get the patient to move side to side and we're looking for the correct bite guidance as determined by the patient's 